He caught 28 within the last two or three weeks, and he takes them over to the supply pond, uh, which is about, oh, I don't know, five, ten minute ride from here, you know, five, six miles, you know, but between the traffic and going through town and stuff like that, it, it takes a few minutes. But anyway, and he releases them over there. Uh, nice place, everything he needs. But apparently, uh, there was one still running around here, going through the yard. Now, it might have been heading towards his trap, I don't know. But uh, my boys caught him. And the wife came out to find out what was going on. And uh, they uh, were kind of um, tearing him apart. So I ran out, naturally, after I hear help. <laughs> and now I have three commands that all the dogs understand. One of them is just stop, downright just stop. The other one is stop and hold. In other words, stop attacking, but don't let them go. And then there's the other one where just they stop and watch. You know, in other words, you'll just keep their eye on them. Uh, no physical contact. Um, so once I gave the command, you know, to just stop, you know, and uh, no physical contact. Uh, I went over and I uh, picked him up with a snow shovel and put him into a, uh, a bucket. And uh, I thought I'd seen a little movement, which means I think, I'm hoping anyway, he was just playing possum. I mean, uh, you know, they're, they're a, a form of a rodent, I guess, but still, that is a life, and I'm kind of a tickler when it comes to life. Uh, especially animal life so uh, but I mean uh, I put them out here on the other side which probably another four or five hundred feet down over that way um, in the woods and uh, if he was playing possum or he can recuperate recuperate recover <laughs> uh, he's safe over there uh, there's plenty of water because I got a little pond over there and uh, and he'll be okay. And if he's dead, well then he'll just decompose over there and it's far enough away to where we won't get any odors or anything. So, but uh, we had a little bit of excitement this morning. But it's good to know uh, the boys stuck to their training, which was good. So, uh, you know, is it possibly at the cost of a, of a life, you know, but uh, at the same token, it shows that the training is, is still there. So... But anyway, I gotta get the tractor up and do some work in the yard. So, and then I gotta build a gun, uh, a gun rack. So, I'll uh, keep you informed on both.